10 people were shot and killed in a shooting at an off road racing event near Ensenada. Tonight, investigators are still trying to figure out who is responsible. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Jesse Pagan. Tonight, we're learning one of the victims was a 22 year old father and truck driver from San Diego. CBS 8's Regina Yurita is here with what we know so far about the man and the investigation. Regina. Yeah, well, Jesse, the name of that 22 year old father is Roberto Isaias Ayala. He leaves behind a wife and a four year old daughter. His family did not wish to speak on camera during this difficult time, but in a statement, they say his life was tragically taken away in an act of violence where he was an innocent bystander. According to Mexican officials, the shooting happened at a gas station in San Vicente, just south of Ensenada. Officials say the shooting was a confrontation between rival cartels. Violence erupted this past weekend at an off-road racing event. Multiple shooters and vans arrived at a gas station and opened fire on participants of the car rally. This is video moments after gunshots were fired. It shows off-road vehicles lined up along a road capturing the sounds of screams and numerous rounds of gunfire. These were groups linked one to the Sinaloa cartel and the other one to the remnants of what is called the Arellano Felix Drug Organization or the Tijuana Cartel. Ten people have been confirmed dead, including San Diego local Roberto Isaias Ayala. Relatives of the 22-year-old say Ayala was a generous and kind father who was at the wrong place at the wrong time. The tragedy has left his wife and daughter distraught. En el cual se involucraba eh, una agresión. During a news conference this afternoon, Attorney General of Baja Ricardo Ivan Carpio Sanchez announced no arrests have been made. He also says they're still investigating who was at the shooting and who might be connected to drug cartel. Trebol es uno de los pseudónimos que también se le adjudicaban toda vez. Sanchez also says other victims who were shot include a 13-year-old boy, one woman, and a man who goes by Trebu, who was supposedly the main target for the shooters. And Mexican officials also announced that they designated a multi-agency task force to find the people responsible. I should also mention a drug bust was made just a week ago in Baja. While officials say there is no correlation, the Juana reporters say drug trafficking is the main issue causing these shootings. Marcella. So, Regina, you mentioned drug trafficking is the main issue. Has this also led to an increase in crime? Yeah, well, the Tijuana reporter told me uh, there is a spike going on in Tijuana. There's a violent spike. It's been 700 homicides this year, and it's all linked to drug trade. And we don't know if this San Diego was just part of this off-road group trying to enjoy an afternoon in F family, the family has said, you know, this is that he was there th at the wrong time, you know, the wrong place, wrong time. But of course, Mexican officials are still trying to gather that information and confirm. Yeah. So. All right, Regina Edita reporting on that big news out of Tijuana for us today. Regina, thank you.